years before his Man in Motion World Tour in 1985, Rick Hansen arrived here at GF Strong Rehabilitation Center following a devastating car crash. That was half a century ago. It's hard to believe that 50 years ago, it was a 16-year-old patient uh, just being admitted here, and I was scared out of my mind. At the Centre on Tuesday, Hansen spoke of all the people who inspired him, <laughs> including his physiotherapist, Avril Corbett, who encouraged him to believe in himself. Avril, you are an amazing difference maker. Thank you. You had a profound impact on my life, and I am so grateful for all that you did to help oh, me move forward. My pleasure. And through Hansen's life, the inspiration spread. Jocelyn Maffin with Spinal Cord Injury BC has been using a wheelchair since she was nine and says seeing Rick Hansen return from his Man in Motion World Tour was life-changing for her. It was a motivating factor in my upbringing and independence and realizing that people with disabilities like mine could truly do just about anything. Dr. Brian Kwan, a spine surgeon at VGH, dedicated his PhD thesis to Rick Hansen. He says Hansen brings people together to advance spinal cord research. You know, I think that he's had an enormous, um, you know, uh, role in actually concentrating this interest and this expertise here in Vancouver. Kwan says people in B.C. get some of the best spinal cord care in the world because of what the Rick Hansen Foundation has done. Hansen himself says this ceremony was about shining a light on the rehabilitation community, which often gets overlooked. But it doesn't end here. And also to still continue to set the bar higher, to move forward, to make things better for British Columbians and to be an example for the world. Karis Hogg, CBC News, Vancouver.